Well folks, here we are. Cadillac engines on the startup stand. Water, oil, fuel, and we're gonna allow the air to come in through the carburetor. Now I know there's an over and under on whether I have the distributor in right or not, so I guess I know where my bet's at, but we'll see how it plays out. Let's make some magic. Lights, please. Here we go. Should have plenty of fuel. <laughs> yeah, of course. Why wouldn't you? If I put that thing in backwards after I checked it, Obviously, it's got sparks, so. Son of a bitch. That's better. Break-in wise, I want to have my engine RPM about 2,000, 2,500. I'll kind of vary that around for the next 20 minutes. And, uh, <coughs> and at that point, you're looking for leaks. You're looking to make sure it stays under temperature. So you know, I really don't want it to get up over 210 or anything like that lines. Obviously, I'd like to stay right at about 190. And we'll kind of modulate that with, uh, with water coming in if we have to. Uh, just sitting here static, it's going to get warmer than it normally would. The smoke you're seeing on here is basically the oils and that burning off from me grabbing it and touching it and moving around. Plus, the exhaust crossover uh, between the heads is on the intake manifold, and that's what you're seeing there. It's going to char that paint probably a little bit. Um, hopefully not so much that it's gone. And uh, that's basically what we're seeing right now. But I'm not seeing any uh, anything crazy. I do have one little water leak I see. Um, nothing major. So you can see it here. You can see where the, the paint's getting super hot, which it's going to. There's no way around that. How about that? Couple little issues like it happens, but uh, other than that, she purrs like a kitten. It's looking good, and I can't wait to see this back in the car. So, you know what to do. Go enjoy some videos, hang out in the shop, have fun. See ya.